What's going on guys? Jax the Bearded Hiker here. Getting in touch with our southern roots. We're going to be making up some fried cabbage, also known as smothered cabbage. It's basically, think of it this way, it's just cabbage that is smothered down with some ingredients, smothered as in onions, and it's pretty much cooked down until it almost all the liquid evaporates and it starts caramelizing like say you would caramelized onions. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get busy. So first step we got here is one bell pepper that's been chopped. I'm using an orange. You can use a green or a red if you want. I have one whole onion there. It's just a regular sweet onion. Here I have about a three inch nub of smoked sausage. And I also have about two slices of bacon right there. You could use all bacon or all sausage. It just depends. I personally don't like picking the... Uh, bacon out of my uh, cabbage. I like crispy bacon, not soft bacon. And here I also have one whole head of cabbage. All right, so what we're gonna do is, in here, we're gonna throw our bacon and sausage in there and go ahead and get this browned up. All right, we're just continuing to brown up here. We're gonna get this nice and crispy, this bacon. So our bacon and the sausage is all browned up. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions and bell pepper here. We're just gonna saute this up until it's a little soft. So these vegetables look pretty good to me. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our whole head of cabbage there. And you can see that I have some of these chunks in here, which is totally fine as we stir this it'll go ahead and break up. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and add in a quarter cup of chicken broth. Okay, so next step, we're gonna go ahead and add in on top of this our bacon and our sausage on top. We're gonna go ahead and add in two teaspoons of honey. Now, some people are against, you know, adding sugars and whatnot, but then again, they'll add a Worcestershire, but Worcestershire sauce has, you know, molasses, it has high fructose corn syrup, it also has tamarind in there, which is all sweeteners. We're going to add in a half a teaspoon of pepper and two teaspoons of salt. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add in one tablespoon of hot sauce. I'm using this Texas Pete's Hotter Than Hot. Use your favorite uh, hot sauce that you want to use. So we're going to add a generous pinch of red pepper flakes into the mix too. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to stir this all about and we are going to keep cooking this down. Now remember, you see there's not a lot of liquid in here. But trust me, this cabbage is full of liquid. So it'll release some liquid on its own. So just keep cooking it down. Don't be like me. Look what I got here. I got a teaspoon of garlic powder. I forgot to put it in. Still going guys, but look, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. See that liquid still? Still in there so this is releasing a lot of liquid so we're just going to keep going so guys we are about done and this is what i say there's hardly any liquid left it's pretty much just oil hopefully i'm not going in and out of focus so i'm going to stop moving this is what i want to say at this point when all the liquid is gone you can do one of two things you can either keep cooking it down and the cabbage will get a lot sweeter, but it'll also get a little bit more mushy. If you want a little bit of a crunch to it, which not all of this will have a crunch, but you'll see some of these whiter pieces like this here will have a slight crunch to it. That's how I like mine, or we like ours. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this now. But again, it's all about trial and error. It's about what you like. Okay guys, so we are just going to wing this. I'm not going to plate this up. I'm just going to get right in here and show you this, guys. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus in. Look at that. It's still... Whoop. Sorry. 
There it is right there. So we are just going to wing this. It's still steaming hot. I'm going to, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's hot. But guys, this is fantastic. If you have never had fried cabbage before, you need to try this out. So, fried cabbage, southern style. Do it.